Hello Shopify world, my name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io. It is about a million degrees in Montreal, Canada, but today we are reviewing another page builder app for Shopify called Shogun. We will show you the behind of the scenes app, what you can do with it, how it works, does it affect your speed, and why do we do all of this so that you don't have to install the app and figure it out yourself. You can just watch these video or the competitors videos and see if this is the right app for you. So today we are reviewing Shogun page builder. I kind of I wonder why they call it Shogun. If you work for Shogun, let me know the history of the name below. But don't get fooled by the name because this app is much more than just a page builder. I've seen people build entire websites with the Shogun application. So let's jump to the rock true. The app is installed, but before you continue, please make sure to take a second to like and subscribe. It is my mission to transfer everything, everything I know about Shopify to my subscribers. There's a whole bunch of different video formats coming up so make sure to like and subscribe and I'm eternally grateful all right the app is installed and we are on the dashboard the dashboard is clean and quite nicely organized but let's check how difficult it will be to create a custom page and if this app is worth its hype click on the purple button that says create a page and a new window pops up here you can choose from four types of pages the standard the blog the product or a collection page we will choose the standard page and we are on a new window on this page you can choose to start from a blank page or choose one of their templates in their template library so you can filter templates as you can see by the type of page you want to build and there are quite a lot of them all right, let's choose this one right here. Click on choose a template and here you should fill in the details of your new page. While we are doing this, let's look at the main features Shogun has to offer. Their position as one of the best page builders relies on easy to use drag and drop editor, beautiful templates, detailed analytics to measure how your page is performing, split testing to optimize your pages. This is hugely important. Uh, choose when to publish your pages with a scheduler, which is really cool for promotions, sync products between multiple stores and SEO controls for max visibility. Okay, cool, cool. Um, on this page, you can also choose if you want to include your team's header and footer, and we will actually use this team header. Now click on create page and we are on the drag and drop builder. Uh, I love these from a user standpoint, from a dev standpoint, it's a love-hate relationship. But anyway, if you want to edit an element, just click on it and on the right, you can find the settings. While we are editing this template, let's just speak about what you can add to your page. Uh, there are many, many sections. And also, if you have coding experience, you can create your custom blocks. But you can choose from uh, sections, columns, sliders, tables, tabs, image, video, heading, text, button, icon, countdown, separator, map, HTML, product box, collection, product title, image, <laughs> gallery, price, variant, quantity, add to cart, product reviews. You can add all kinds of different forms and you can add social buttons and structural blocks. All right, our page is done and let's publish it. Before you upload any image, make sure to optimize it in a JPEG format and make sure to upload the correct size of the image. There are plenty of free tools to help you do this and it will make a huge impact on your store speed, on your store performance and on your bottom line if you do this well. By the way, if you want to check how fast your store is currently going, testmystorespeed.com, it's free. Anyway, click on the save button on the right corner and after that you can basically hit publish. Actually, now that I'm doing this, I maybe want to make this page our homepage and it's still not our homepage. So in order to set it as our homepage, click on these three little dots. From the drop down menu, simply click set as homepage, confirm and boom, we have just built a brand new homepage on Shopify. That's not an easy thing to do. Okay, let's jump to our lovely demo shop to see what we have done. And this looks amazing. Buttons are working and it looks beautiful. And it only took us like, what, five minutes? Frankly, great job, Shogun. You guys are living up to the hype. Congratulations.
All right, so how does all of this look on mobile? I got my mobile here right with me and we're going to check because it is super important these days that you check for mobile. You notice, but you're still doing most of the building on your desktop. So don't forget your mobile and let's check it out here. All right, it looks even better on mobile and let's see if the buttons here work. Okay, so I think we can fairly conclude that Shogun works fantastically on both desktop and mobile. Alrighty, this time for the speed check. The walkthrough went actually pretty well. I hope you agree. Let me know in the comments what I need to change. But what about speed? We all know that every second matters, especially if you are serving ads. Because if it's slow, then people on mobile, you know, it takes too long to load and they will not click on your ad or they will click out of your ad before it loads. And you can see that based on a high bounce rate. So speed is really important. Um, we will analyze all our pages with a free tool called testmystorespeed.com. You should totally use it. It's 100% free. It even allows you to spy on your competition, seeing what apps they have installed. And it's actually Shopify specific. We really build this for Shopify store owners. We already tested this website before we added the app. So in this history section right here, we can easily compare the before and after. The number of requests, as you can see, did go up, but our homepage was just the team default. So with these additional requests, you got an announcement bar, a slider, a contact form, social icon, sign up forms, and much, much more. And if you look here, the page load didn't change significantly. I mean, the size did change, but we have unoptimized images, so that's probably the main source. Overall, if you are careful with the sections and optimizing your images, this Shogun page will load very quickly and I know that the guys at Shogun are going out of their way to make performance a major thing especially moving forward so when you keep performance in mind I definitely do think that Shogun is a good investment for the future so some people ask my opinion about hey Andrew can you insert a bit more of your opinion about this app now I'm not going to give about Shogun specifically I use Shogun just as I use gem pages just as I use zipify and I use some others as well. You can see in the competitors later in this video, but why do I think these are crucial apps to have? This type of app is crucial and whether it's Shogun or another one, that's kind of depending on the features that you personally enjoy and want. But why do I think it's very important you have a page builder app installed on your store is because sometimes you need to launch campaigns quickly. So either it's a Christmas campaign or maybe you have a new product launch. I don't know, sometimes you need to build that funnel quickly. And you don't have the time to sit down with a developer and a designer and your marketer and you just want to get it done. You want to get it out there. In those cases, apps like Shogun, Zipify, Gem Pages, any of those product builders work fantastically well because you can slap something together really quickly, start sending traffic to it and then A-B test it. See what works, what doesn't and tweak it as you go. If you would do this using the classic way of using a developer and a designer, that would use an exponential amount more time to get to the same result. So that's why page builders are fantastic apps. Now, important side note is that I do believe that at the end of the day, having an entire website built on page builders is not the ideal thing to do. I mean, performance wise, we looked at it a bit before, it is going to affect these specific pages. If you're targeting someone that's, you know, on the subway, on the 3G network, on an old phone, it's gonna impact it. So once you figured out which Shogun, for example, the perfect landing page, the one that really converts, and you tweaked it so that you know this is the highest conversion rate I'm gonna get out of this type of page, then I always recommend to have it replicated by an actual developer to have it build into Shopify directly. It's just going to make less requests, it's gonna weigh less, it's just going to be faster, the analytics are gonna be more accurate in my opinion. It's just the clean, right way to do it. So I love these apps. I think you actually should have one of these in your stores. It allows you to move quickly, to a b test and just to outperform your competitors on a marketing point of view but once you have a functioning page with for example shogun don't keep it on shogun try to migrate to the actual store interface the uninstall review 
So if you've used Shogun set as a homepage button to replace your Shopify storefront and you would like to return to the original version, you can do this with just a few clicks. Um, first, from the dashboard, click on your current homepage and in a new window, click on these three dots. Choose page options and after that, click on revert homepage button and then just follow the prompts from there on. So we have successfully reverted our homepage. If you published any content using Shogun, there will also be some Shogun HTML in the content fields of your store pages. Um, it is recommended to remove that content before beginning this progress. The undo import feature can be used to remove the Shogun content. To reverse a page that has been imported into Shogun, first you should locate the page in your Shogun dashboard. Click on the three dots setting button right here and select revert import option. This option will remove any Shogun content from the page, restore the content that was in place prior to the import and remove the page from your Shogun dashboard. So now we should uninstall the app from the Shopify admin. You can do that as you would uninstall any other apps. And once that is done, we're gonna jump straight into the team code. We always recommend you to make a duplicate of your current live team before you make any changes to the code. That way, in case you mess up, you always have your backup. Um, so from the Shopify admin, click on the online store and then teams. Click on the action and then from the drop down, choose duplicate. Once the duplicate is made, we can proceed to the actual team code modification. Click on actions again, but this time choose edit the code. There are just a couple of lines of codes and really some files that Shogun put in our team and that needs to be removed in order to do it correctly. So let's start by removing the code. In the team.liquid file of the layout folder, find and remove this line of code right here. And in the product.liquid file and any other product star liquid files in the templates folders, find and remove all the following lines. In the page.liquid file and any page.name.liquid files in the template folder, find and remove the following lines. And then also in the collection.liquid files or any uh, files that are called collection.something.liquid files in the templates folder. Uh, find and remove the following lines. Also in the article.liquid file or again any article.name.liquid files in the templates folder. Find and remove the following lines. And then finally the following lines can be deleted from the team as well. The layout slash team dot shogun dot landing liquid, the templates slash page dot shogun dot default dot liquid, the templates slash page dot shogun dot landing dot liquid, the templates slash product dot shogun dot custom dot liquid, the snippets slash shogun dash head dot liquid, and the snippets slash shogun dash products dot liquid. Damn, that was a mouthful. Now we're going to talk about those facts. First of all, it is super important in any app that it plays nicely with the other apps in the ecosystem. So what does Shogun integrate with? Well, it integrates with Google Analytics, which is a fantastic start. Adobe Typekit, it integrates with Instagram, it integrates with YouTube, and it integrates with Pinterest. Now, if we look at the pricing, you have a 10 day free trial to kind of test it out yourself to see if you like it. And if you decide that you want to keep using it, you can choose between three plans. The one for $39 a month, the one for $99 a month, and the one for $149 a month. Now, I'll overlay them side by side over the screen. And to me, if you're really a professional store owner, what's one of the most important features is the A-B testing feature that you get into the optimized plan. Let's be real here. You know A-B testing is super important, but have you really done it? You probably haven't had you. You know you should do it, but you haven't done it, right? Well, those guys make it easy. Okay, so now let's talk about competitors. You're like, you know, Andrew, Shogun's nice, but what else is out there? Well, for you, I have Zipify pages, which we already reviewed, and you wanna go check it out before you install Shogun. We also have Gem pages, which we reviewed as well. We have PageFly, we have Layout Hub, we have Hypervisual Page Builder, and we have Page Studio. All of those apps are kind of in the same league as Shogun. You definitely wanna check it out to see if one of them fits your vibe or doesn't fit your vibe, um, check it out. 
And then finally, let's look at the reviews, which Shogun scores really, really, really nicely on no surprise, considering they're kind of the industry leader in this, no offense to the other apps. We have a 4.8 out of five star reviews for more than 2,038 reviews at the moment of this recording. So the breakdown looks like this actually. And we do this with all the apps. We're going to zoom in on the one star review to make sure that there is no red flags, maybe specifically to your industry or your type of store, or I don't know what. So let's overlay them. You can kind of check them out. Now remember there's one star reviews everywhere. You could, you could give the best apps in the world. Literally there's some amazing apps out there that have one star reviews. So it's don't let this scare you. It's more to show transparency to you. All right, guys, thank you very much. That was it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the other page build app reviews that we have done. And most importantly, make sure to measure your store speed performance at testmystorespeed.com calm to see if your Shopify store is doing well, which app is affecting it. And maybe also, you know, test your competitors to see what apps and teams they're using. You might have some valuable information there. Thank you very much. I love you tons and see you in the next video. Hopefully when it's less hot in Montreal.